My channel has literally become a contemplation of cats in boxes on blankets. Hell yeah! <laughs> hey guys! For today's video, I wanted to talk to you about the five acne products that made my acne worse. We both know that acne sucks enough as it is, and suffering from acne for over 15 years, I've tried a lot of products, i found out what works and what doesn't. And now that I'm in a position where I'm studying science and chemistry and medicine and hopefully dermatology, I understand quite a bit more about the skin and how it works, how we work as homo sapiens, and how these products and chemicals or natural chemicals and ingredients work on, with, or even against our skin. So the first thing that I'm going to hold up is this familiar little bottle, which I'm sure we've all seen. And the proactive three-step system is something that really made my acne worse over the long run. Uh, this is probably a seven-year-old bottle as it is, so I don't know if they updated the formula. But the way the proactive works is that it's a three-step system that's based on benzoyl peroxide. So benzoyl peroxide in proactive or in any other skincare is a chemical that is meant to get rid of active acne by drying out the skin and by killing bacteria. Now unfortunately what would happen to me is that I would apply this benzoyl peroxide as a cleanser and then as the clearing lotion and all of a sudden the active breakouts on my skin started to clear up. It would dry out my skin severely but I would notice that they seemed to kind of go away and they decreased in redness. So I was like, oh my god, it's working! But then literally two weeks in, my skin would be drier than ever so then it started overproducing oil. So literally like a southern Texas oil factory up in the pores on my face, creating more oil, which was a breeding ground for bacteria, which was a breeding ground for acne. And on top of that, the benzoyl peroxide that was just drying out the skin was also irritating my skin, causing inflammation. And when I used the product continually, it would actually make my skin worse. Now when I stopped using Proactive, it took like six months for my skin to normalize. Um, first off, I was an oily bucket, and then once I stopped using the product, my skin kind of got back to being a little bit worse than it normally was, but a little bit better than like the, the one month period of having used it. So, I don't know if Jessica Simpson and Justin Bieber really have like acne and terrible skin that Proactive fixed. I know it has worked for some people, and I don't want to discount or discredit that, but at the same time, for me, the proactive system made my acne worse and in the long run made my skin almost dependent on the product. So this is one thing that I would say made my acne worse in the long run. If you've had a similar or different experience, please let me know. And then the second product that I want to talk about is where I went to after Proactive, which was Clinique. And of course Clinique has a lot of great makeup and skincare products, but they also have a three-step system that is similar to Proactive. So I thought, all right, a cleanser, toner, moisturizer. This is familiar, Miss 14-year-old Cassandra. Try this one. And the Clinique Acne Solutions Cleansing Foam is based off of salicylic acid, which is a natural derivative. It can be made in a lab or it can be made naturally from willow bark and um, certain plants. Salicylic acid can also irritate the skin. Now, thank goodness for me, salicylic acid wasn't irritating. Unfortunately, though, this is a pump cleanser. There's actually still stuff in here. So when you use it, it actually pumps out like this, and it's considered a foaming cleanser. Now, obviously at the time, I was turning around the label, I was looking at the active ingredient, which was salicylic acid, thinking, okay, this will be great for my skin. Foaming cleansers in general are very dehydrating to acne prone skin and can cause a lot of irritation. Basically the agent that causes the foaming is similar to the sulfates in your shampoo and it can be very damaging to the skin, stripping out the protective outer layer, the outer layer, English Cassandra, um, and actually damaging the layers in between. So it wasn't even the salicylic acid or the active ingredient in this product that was breaking me out, but it was the actual foaming technology. And I've tried other foaming cleansers other than this that I thought were working, um, but overall it just leaves my skin in a more dehydrated and uh, less lustrous condition. Which again, if we have acne, we need to be pretty gentle with our skin. Heavily chemical products will show us quicker results, but they won't show us more accurate results uh, over the long run, which has been a huge journey for me to find out. But the Clinique Acne Solutions Foaming Cleanser was just not a friend of mine. Um, next I marched on over to the drugstore, and who recognizes this? 
the Burt's Bees Willow Scrub. And I tried this as an exfoliator thinking it would fix my skin. I was like, oh my god, it's natural, 99% natural. Isn't this awesome? And it wasn't until, you know, I started studying medicine and started studying skin that I actually realized this is terrible for your skin. So what this is, is ground up peach chunks, the little peach pits. And while you think, oh, that's great, you have to think, peach pits are like rocks. They're very jagged, they're very sharp. So while this feels like sand on the skin, it's actually causing cuts and micro tears in the skin which basically opens up the skin for, for bacteria to get into. And whenever you cut yourself on accident or on purpose, there's inflammation. And acne is associated directly with inflammation. So if you're causing these micro cuts and micro tears on your skin, you are causing inflammation, which end introducing bacteria and just setting yourself up for acne. Um, and also, because it is a physical exfoliant, it's not as an even of an exfoliator. If you used a chemical exfoliant, for instance, an AHA or BHA acid, those exfoliate more evenly, or glycolic acid. And I personally like the um, chemical exfoliants better than physical exfoliants. Physicals are the ones that you can, you can feel. And the second thing about this, I don't know what's in it that does this, but it leaves like this shiny, greasy, waxy texture to me. So then not only is my skin scratched the F up, but then it's also got like this waxy seal on it that stops my skin from acting normal and it like, it like builds up a gunk on my skin. Overall, this made my acne worse. Next, I went expensive and I was like, oh my god, I have to go buy the most expensive skincare. If I invest in some luxury skincare, it'll fix my skin. This is from Chanel. Who decided that a luxury handbag designer was fit to make skincare? I don't know. Who is going to decide to buy that thinking it'll fix their acne? Only a very insecure uh, teenager, obviously. But this is called the Masque de Tesserante Pure, but it's basically a cream mask, and this broke the F out of my skin. I can't remember if this was $50, if it was $100, um, but this ended up really irritating my skin. It had a lot of fragrances in it, which I believe that I am sensitive to. Not knowing that at the time, I was just like, make me pretty! It didn't work because I had these fragrances sitting on my skin it was just destroying it and probably making me more sensitive to other allergies because if you introduce an allergen to your body your skin is going to overreact to other smaller allergens that it normally wouldn't do that with because you're already creating the histamines um, that cause an allergic reaction so anyways <laughs> Enough with the nerd talk, Cassandra, that's for Friday nights. Um, this was an expensive mistake. It did not work. It made my skin worse. <laughs> Sorry, Chanel. And also, there's no active ingredient. So it's like, there's not actually anything in here that's gonna help with acne. Just buy, buy. The very last product is the Acne Stress Control Toner from Neutrogena. And this just made me more stressed because it made me break out more. And Neutrogena has been one of the brands that I've been really loyal to. I don't use them anymore, but I used to use them all the time. And I was a fan of a lot of their products because they were inexpensive and they didn't make my skin worse. But honey, this triple action toner, I basically went through an entire bottle, repurchased it, and during the three days that I wasn't using it, when I repurchased it, my skin started to get better. So why did this break out my skin? This is a salicylic acid based toner, but it has a base of alcohol. And alcohol, obviously, if you leave it out in the open, it'll evaporate. Why? Because it's very drying to the skin. I was putting this on my skin as a toner, thinking, oh, this is going to tone my skin, this will get rid of acne. All it was doing was drying my skin out, breaking down the protective layers that my skin needed, and overall, making me produce more oil, which was going to cause more acne that I just was not aware of. A toner's purpose is to balance the pH of your skin, how acidic or basic your skin is. It should make it equal. And this basically just went in there and didn't balance anything. It just dried it the F out. And as you can see, most of these products, these products all contributed to my acne because they over dried my skin. Again, chemical products, they are and harsh products. They are going to show you quicker results of something, but they could be worse over the long run. And I found that just taking it slow and easy 
It takes your skin 28 days to renew. Give it some time when you try a new product. And then these two destroyed my skin for different reasons. And these are the things that made my face look more like a pizza than I wanted it to. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video or learned a little something. If you've tried these products, please tell me what did or didn't work for you. And let's just have a skincare discussion because, you know, my goal is to help you live beautifully inside and out, but I believe that beauty is not something that we have. It is something that we learn and it is something that we earn by educating ourselves and by doing good for the world around us. So be sure to post a comment. Let's have a conversation and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye. Say bye, kitty. You can see I'm literally becoming a box lady. What is this? Kitty in a blanket, kitty in a box. Meow, 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 meow.